I I just have a really basic setup here. Uh, I have them set to stationary until I get close. Uh, there's a lot of problems with the strafing right now, but I am pretty happy with the progress. So I'm standing here and he's just strafing around me. If I were to walk away, he'll come and get me. And if I were to walk towards him, he will walk backwards. Uh, if I were to walk back him faster, I could get him. Or he would attack me. Uh, that's why it said attack there. Now if I try to push him into this, this little area here. Because right now he won't ever lunge out at me, so I can just push him wherever. Yeah, then let him strafe back there. Uh, some weirdness will happen. I tried to make it so that he could navigate around the pillar and the walls by themselves. Uh, does not happen very, very well. I want to see more of the pillar. Stay by that pillar. Okay, push out a little bit. And they strafe left and right at random intervals. Okay, you can see a little bit that they were trying to get around the pillar a bit. Uh, it doesn't work that great, though. So I'm going to have to make lots of changes with that. But it was fun to experiment with that. I'm going to watch him for a bit longer. I'm curious. Dude, dude, walk over to the pillar, please. I'm begging you. Please. Yeah, if I were to walk away, he just goes straight into the pillar because uh, it did not account for the nav mesh. Right now, I have it so that all of the accounting for of the nav mesh happens after applying those those movements, which definitely will need changed. Uh, but for a first little start here, I think this is pretty solid. If I go outside his sight range, he'll just default his movement back until I'm close again. I also worked on this guard here. Uh, if I get close, he'll chase me away, but not farther than a certain value away from the area he's guarding. See, he'll give up and he'll go back to guard. Boop. And he's dead. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show right now.